Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. In today's course play tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the field work mode. So to bring up my HUD right here, I right control or right click with my right mouse button and I go to the field work mode right there. So the next step is I left click on the field work mode in order to get to this section and then I left click. So one thing to note is this little section right here, this little up and down arrow won't open up unless you've selected the appropriate um, the appropriate modes. So it'll only show up with like field or with the seeding and seeding and fertilizing mode or the field work mode. So keep that in mind. If I'm in the grain transport mode or the overloader mode or any other modes, it won't work. So this is the only two modes that will allow you to enable this or have this course generation opened up. Okay, so I'm in the field work mode right here. I want to go ahead and left click to calculate the current fields edge path like so. And as you can see, it creates a blue line around the perimeter of the field. We're going to go ahead and save this so I can change this number by using my scroll wheel going up and down or I can left click and go positive or negative depending on what I want to set it up to. So in this case, I'm going to set it up to field edge path number one. I'm going to add that to field edge. See, so I make sure I'm in the right mode. So I'm in the field work mode. Now I go to the course generation mode and I want to use my field number one. So in this case, you can press the left click on the up button or you can use your scroll wheel, either works. So in this case, what you want to make sure you know is the width of the particular implement you're using. So I'm using the Vogels Newt Thinking Ahead Terra Disc 600. So it's a six meter disc. So I'm going to go ahead. So you can automatically calculate the width of the disc or you can manually set it, whichever you want. So let's say I have it set to 2.6 and I want to just double check. I can hit that. I can left click on that calculator button. It will automatically detect the width. So I don't actually want it at 6. I actually want it at 5.9. So there's a little bit of overlap in case it misses something for whatever reason. So in this case, I want it to start in the northeast corner. So I left click and I left click again, left click again. So now I'm in the northeast corner, which is on the map, the top. So again, north is here, east is here, south is here, west is here. Okay. So I'm in the northeast corner of this particular field and I want it to head south so it's heading down on the map and I want it to return to the first waypoint. So the first waypoint in this context would be where the very first waypoint of the course is. So if I have it starting in the northeast corner right up here, that would be the first waypoint. So I do want it to start or return to the first waypoint. So there we go. So once you have that set up the way you want to, if you have, so as a quick little note, if you have it set it to it does not return to the first waypoint, wherever it finishes, that's where it will stay. Okay, so keep that in mind. So I'm gonna have it set to return to the first waypoint. Now I'm gonna left click on this course generation. And as you can see, now I have a little arrow here, which shows us that that's the very first waypoint right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up my tractor with that first waypoint. And this is an important step because if you don't do this, what will often happen is the tractor will go around in circles and I won't be able to find that first waypoint. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up as best as I can, like so. And then I'm gonna left click on this little icon right here, the plus, or the, I should say, play, stop, pause, and record. So I'm gonna go ahead and start course at the first waypoint. And again, you change that by left clicking. And then I'm gonna left click on drive course. So what will happen is, once it gets to the first waypoint, it's gonna lower that disc, and it's gonna start cultivating. It's gonna lower it, there we go. And then it's gonna start cultivating away once it's ready to go. There it goes. So now it's cultivating this ground. So this is the seeded ground and this is the cultivated ground. And this is where it's the freshly harvest ground, just to show you the difference between the three. So I'm going to let that go to the very edge of the field. And then I'm going to show you what it does when it wants to turn around. Now, this is one of the features that has changed from 2015 to 2017 because of the way the hired workers work now. So it's a bit different than it used to be. So before it would just kind of turn around, but now it kind of lines up and aligns with the path and gets it right to the back of the field. I'll show you what I mean by that in one moment, once it gets there. So here it is, it's coming around. It's gonna make a turn real quick here at the edge. So before what would happen, it was just kind of, it would just do like a U-turn and go in the other direction. Now it'll actually line up the implement a bit more when it's turning around. So here it is. It's got to the edge of the field here. It's gonna do a little turn. So this obviously will depend on the implement, but some implements are gonna be different than others. So it's making a turn. So it's backing up here and then it's going to do a U-turn when it's ready. There it goes. Now it's going to do the U-turn. So again, it does depend on the 
implement itself and the tractor because different tractors have different turning circles and some implements won't allow you to do a big turning circle. So it's turning around there and it's gonna go to the closest section it can find, which is right there. And then what it's gonna do, it's gonna back up and align the cultivator with the edge of the field right here so that it gets all of the field. So there it goes. It's lining up with the edge of the field there, like so. Once it gets to the edge, it's gonna lower the implement, like so, and then it's gonna continue cultivating the field, just like that. So that's one of the big changes that, they, that we have from 15 to 17. So that is how you set up the field work mode. So that's again, the field work mode right here. If you wanna save the course, for example, all you need to do is left click on this little disc and you can set this to cultivator, cultivate six meter, and then you'll save the course. And if you wanna load that course again, left click on the globe, and then you can choose cultivate left. So in this case, it's on a course right now. So if I wanna clear the course, I would go to the little X. And if I wanna load it, I would click on the little file icon and now that course is loaded. And then I can set it so it drives to the first waypoint or the nearest waypoint, whichever works better. So keep that in mind. So that's how you set up the field work mode. And that's the mode you would, could use for a combine. If you wanted to combine the field, you could use that same mode for cultivating, plowing, uh, using the rake, using the tether, uh, using the forge wagon would be the same thing. All those implements use the field work mode. So keep that in mind. My name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And if you did, why don't you go ahead and leave a comment below with what tutorial you'd like to see next. Once again, my name is Ian Robson and I'll catch you guys later.